Working easily outside the spacecraft still had to be accomplished, and this would be the goal of the next and last Gemini mission. A new type of training is introduced. Instead of just practicing spacewalks on board NASA's padded zero-g aircraft, which flies parabolas that provide around 30 seconds of weightlessness, the astronauts trained underwater. A capsule mock-up was put in a school swimming pool, and Gemini 12 astronaut Buzz Aldrin suited up and dove in after it. With the right amount of counterweight, weightlessness could be simulated on a longer and larger scale. In addition to the water training, more hand and footholds are placed on the spacecraft. The last Gemini flight is launched in November 1966, carrying Aldrin and Jim Lovell. Two hours Aldrin made working in space look easy. The last of Project Gemini's objectives had been reached. The Apollo spacecraft had been developed and astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White and Roger Chaffee were already training with it. Next up was Project Apollo and America's rendezvous with the moon.